everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you watched my last DIY video, then you know what we're doing today. We are gonna be making those cute little cardboard Christmas trees. This is a super easy, very simple DIY. It's gonna be the last Christmas decor DIY video that I'm gonna be posting this year. Um, but I, I'm really excited about this. I was actually inspired by some cute Christmas tree decor that I saw at CB2. And so those were made out of glass. We're not doing glass today. <laughs> Even though I did buy a glass cutter intended for this project, but I kind of chickened out and just went the easy cardboard route. But that's okay. Anyways, let me show you how to make them. For this project, we're gonna need cardboard, some thick paper, our scissors, a ruler, a pencil, our glue gun, and then a decorative twine. This first one I created is a little over six inches tall, and then each side is one and a half inches wide. And because I'm doing a variety of these, I want my next one to be taller and wider. So I've already drawn out the measurements. I'm doing it to eight inches tall, and then each side is gonna be two inches wide. Now, if you notice here, <laughs> This is how I did it the first time, but there is a much more efficient way of cutting out your cardboard. So you can do it like this. And the way you measure it is you're making one triangle, which is gonna be this center piece. And so you need to combine the widths of both sides. So that's the two inches plus two inches. But I also actually measured the width of the cardboard and accounted for that as well. So I put this bottom width is four inches and two centimeters wide. And then as you can see at the top, I also accounted for the same two centimeters and that is gonna be where these pieces of cardboard will line up there. So this is the center piece. These are the two sides that are gonna go perpendicular. And then because I do want it covered, this cardboard is looking like cardboard on the back and I want the whole thing to be white. So I've also taken my white paper and I've done the same measurements, but I've done it twice. So we have enough pieces to cover the entire thing. So now we're just gonna cut this out. So before we put the entire tree together, we're just gonna cover each of these cardboard pieces with our white paper. I'm just gonna do a couple small little dabs of hot glue in each of the corners. So just get it on there quickly and then try to smooth it out before it dries in a lump. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. and just try to center your paper as best as you can. You can always go in afterwards and trim off any edges. Then we're gonna do the sides. All right. We've got everything covered and now you can go in and do any trimming if you need to. Now we can put the whole thing together and take our side, make sure you are gluing the right side and then you're gonna add just a strip of hot glue. You wanna try and work quickly but neatly. You wanna do this before the hot glue cools off. and then just go ahead and hold it in place just for a few seconds until it's sturdy. And again, don't worry if you see a little bit of hot glue in the seams, we're gonna be covering that up anyway. Then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Now, as you can see the way I did it with the paper, you can still see the edges of the cardboard. 
that's gonna be covered, but you're still gonna be seeing a hint of it. I actually prefer the look of that, but if you wanted, you can definitely cut your paper out so that it covers these side seams as well. So now that we've got our tree put together, this is the part where we're gonna add the twine. Depending on how thick your cardboard is, you might need multiple strands of twine. As you can see here, I did two strands. One just wouldn't be thick enough. So I've already pre-cut two strands of twine and I've cut it longer than the length of the tree. And I'm doing that so I can hold it easily and I'm just gonna be able to, to pull it down tight against the glue once I've put this glue on there. So you definitely want to do this as neat as possible. Again, working quickly, but if you are messy with the hot glue here, it can definitely show. So I'm gonna hold my strands nice and tight together and then just pull it against this tree. And then once it's pretty much on there, you can squeeze them together and kind of adjust their positioning. Here you can see what I mean when I said you'd be able to see a little bit of the cardboard. It's really just a fine line and I like that look. It gives it more detail in my opinion. So I like that contrast of the dark line in between the side of the tree and the twine. Now we're gonna repeat the same process with the inner seams of the tree. And uh, this time I'm just gonna do one strand of twine because I don't need it to be that thick. So I'm just gonna very carefully put a small strip of hot glue right in between the two pieces. And then lay this in. And give it a little extra helping hand to get right in the corner. And now all we have to do is just trim off the edges. We're just gonna straighten out this top part and then cut them all together at the same length. And if you need to, you can kind of spread them out, add a drop of glue and then pull them all back together. And then once that dries, you can go again and trim it a little bit more until it looks nice and clean. There you go. Then we're just gonna trim the bottom as well. If you need to, just go in, peel off any of those hot glue webs. You can go in and add a little bit more decoration to the tree if you want, create a little tree topper. I like it really simple, so I am finished. Super simple, right? It really doesn't take that much equipment for this project and I really love how it turned out. I think next year I've been following a lot of like colorful home decor inspo pages on Instagram and um, I've been really inspired by them. So next year I'm thinking I might do a whole colorful array of cardboard Christmas trees. I think it's going to be really, really cute. So you're going to have to make sure that you are subscribed, if not hit that subscribe button and go ahead, give this video a huge thumbs up for me and for Christmas and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. If you're going to try this out, if you think I should do the whole colorful array of Christmas trees, I would love to hear your thoughts on that. 
you guys remember that china cabinet from my home decor haul video I posted a couple weeks ago. Well, that project is almost complete and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. So make sure you hit that notification button as well. But other than that, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having the merriest holiday season. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy everything holidays. Love you guys. See you next time.